Hello class! Today we're going to be counting money and our counting goal is I can count dimes and pennies. Let's begin. We're going to start off by reviewing our penny. Now in Canada we don't use our pennies anymore but they're so valuable when we're learning how to count. So a penny has Queen Elizabeth the second on the head side and on the tail side it has some maple leaves and a penny is worth one cent. Our dime also has Queen Elizabeth the second on the head side and on the tail side we have a beautiful sailing ship called the Blue Nose. A dime is worth ten cents. Now this is where it comes in very handy to remember that our pennies are one cent because a dime is equal ten cents. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A dime is equal to ten cents. So if we have seven dimes, let's count and see how many cents that would be. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Did you notice that when we counted the dimes we counted them by 10? That's because dimes are worth 10 cents and 7 dimes is worth 70 cents. Well done. Here I have a 100's chart and a bunch of pennies. Sometimes it's helpful when we're counting money to use a hundreds chart. I am going to move the pennies as we count them. Would you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. That is 23 cents. Do you remember that a dime is worth 10 cents? Well, we are going to swap or trade some pennies for our dimes. How many pennies do we need to trade for that dime? You're right, it's 10. So let's take off 10 pennies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we're going to trade those for a dime. Do we have enough pennies to do that again? We do. Let's trade another 10 for a dime. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to trade those pennies for another dime. Do we have enough pennies to trade for another dime? We don't, do we? We only have three pennies and we would need 10. So we have two dimes, so that's 10, 20, 21, 22, 23 cents. This is 23 cents, just like before when we only had pennies. Now I have a group of money here. Let's count those together. When we're counting dimes, don't forget, we're going to count by 10. When we're counting pennies, we're going to be counting by 1. Would you count with me, please? 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. This is 35 cents. Good job. Here's some more money. We're going to count it together. Our dimes are 10 cents and our pennies are 1. Let's start with our dimes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 
42, and 43. This is 43 cents. Well done. We're going to count again. We always start with our largest amount of a coin and our dime is worth the most. So that's what we're going to start with. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72. This is 72 cents. Well done. We have some more money here and we're going to use our hundreds chart to help us count it. I want you to count with me. Our dimes are worth the most out of these coins. So we're going to start counting with dimes. Get ready. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, and 96. 96 cents. Good counting. Here is some more money. Please count with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, and 54. This is 54 cents. Sometimes when we're counting money, we're not going to have a hundreds chart to help us. So let's try counting these coins without the hundreds chart. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81. That's 81 cents. Oh, what about this? Please count with me. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Here we have 17 cents. Oh, could you count these with me as well? Let's begin. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, and 65. Here we have 65 cents. Well done. We've had a chance to practice counting with pennies and with dimes. And I hope that you can say, I can count pennies and dimes. Well done. Have a great day, class. Bye-bye.